Hi viewers, uh, welcome to another episode of our GeoCamp uh, lecture series. Um, today we'll be looking at fluvial processes uh, and, and products. Our focus uh, will be specifically on current ripples and uh, sedimentation in a river or a fluvial uh, setting. So uh, if you recall, or just by way of refresher, just imagine um, a river surface. And that's air, and then this is water. So that means we have some aquatic features here. So now if you imagine um, a typical river, and let's say in this case, you know, wind is in this direction, or you can also say, let's say to your right is upstream, and then to your left is downstream. So now typically what happens is that um, at the bottom of the river, you have what we call ripples, okay? In that, in that, in that form, uh, these are like small scale, call them mounds or ridges basically at the bottom of the river, just all the way down. To the to the substrate so typically what you do uh, observe is that um, sediments or the particles you know move in the direction of currents in this case from upstream to downstream so for each of these ripples uh, there are two faces uh, they face with a gentle slope it's called the stoss phase while the one with the a uh, steep uh, slope is called the leaf phase or the slip phase. That's typically where you have an avalanche of particles from the stoss side to the lee side by way of um, um, deposition. So typically uh, what happens is that you do have erosion on the stoss side and deposition uh, on the on the lee side. So particles will be going um, you know, going across the crest of that small ripple or that mini ridge uh, and then depositing uh, towards, uh, in this case, your left, where you have uh, the steep uh, slope. So um, one other thing you will notice if you take a closer look is that the coarser, um, you know, particles or the heavier uh, particles or grains find themselves at the base of this um you know in the in the slip phase or, or on the lee side while the finer ones are actually at the top or they actually travel further out so you imagine it's a velocity thing so the heavier ones are dropped because of their weight while the finer ones make it further out so if you you know think of it this way um if if you're carrying load the heavier ones get dropped first because of the weight while the finer ones or the lighter ones can be carried further out from the from the source so that's what translates to some of what you observe if you observe typical you know cross beds where you see uh, at this um, four set planes you see the coarser um, particles or the coarser grain sizes and then the finer ones are further out and then the cycle uh, is typically repeated and this is all stemming from you know the you know erosion on the store side and deposition on the lee side which now causes this ripples or this mega ripples or dunes to actually migrate in the direction of travel of the of the current so i have a next uh, quick video in the next slide which maybe hopefully will drive the message uh, home in terms of processes and products Right, so as you observe this, I know by now you probably have a sense of direction of travel of um, the currents uh, in this in this river. You will notice in this case it's going from right to left, um, which will mean that the particles are traveling from you know the upstream, which in this case is to your right, towards the downstream, uh, which is in the left part. So for a moment, I'm going to pause this video. Uh, what you will notice is that if you 
you know you will see some you know crescent shaped uh features if you're looking at this from the map view or from from an area view and these are the ripples basically these are the ripples uh if it were, if it were in the surface or on the surface let's say in a, in, in in an open uh arid setting you will call them dunes and that's at much larger scale but this is this is at the river scale smaller in size in terms of dimension and these are like current ripples and um, the message here is that uh, the particles are actually traveling the grains are traveling in this direction direction of uh, current flow uh, like i did say if you just recall what i said in the previous slide this is the kind of the section view if, if i'm to cut let's say from a to b a to b if i'm to take a slice of that section so this will be a and this will be v, b so what you will notice is that particles are traveling in this direction this is direction of current um the current travel water current right so you have erosion e on the store side and deposition on the lee side and that creates you know uh, a set of deposits to your right so if if you take one other look at this at this um section you will notice that um just to the right of each of this uh dune let, let each of this uh, ripple let's say for example this one you notice this area where you have this set of you know darker um, um green uh, you know particles and those are areas where you have deposition of so this is like this you have these particles right here so everything traveling on this side gets deposited the heavier ones are deposited because of that weight and then the lighter ones go further out and then the whole um, process continues I'm going to continue the video just uh, just so you kind of get an additional perspective to what this is all about right so if you also take another look you will also notice that there is this um particle really that is traveling in this direction again that gives you a hint you know uh, you know with regards to where where the direction where the current direction is um and if you if you you know let's say think of it this way several millions of years uh into the future we'll be talking about this as paleo current indicators right so in this case you will say okay if i have a cross bed like this and i have this you know this um faucet planes with you know this Kind of distribution grains distributed this way um in a, in this setting i will say if there's some kind of unidirectional uh flow in other words the flow is in one direction which typically is indicative of some kind of fluvial or river setting or flow if you think of fluvial think of it as flow um what you will see is that you have these faucet planes deep in one direction and these are the bedding planes basically right so this is kind of what happened um you know in the past you have this mic this um you know ripples migrate in the direction of travel uh, of the current and over time um let's say another episode of you know some kind of mega uh, erosion happens and another cycle repeats itself and that's what you now see as you know a bunch of you know unidirectional um um cross stratification in this case bedding planes and faucet planes with all kinds of you know clay drapes and and, and particles uh, between them so indicators like this if you were to go to the present day river setting will tell you where the flow is coming from and where it's going to and then in the future that's what you see in 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 an uh in, in an outcrop section like this where you see all kinds of cross beds with some fancy looking um faucet planes clay drapes and, and and all of that
Okay, so let, let me just quickly wrap up the video. Um, hopefully you can make additional observations as you take a look at this. But the key thing here is, um, this is a fluvial setting. Um, I did talk about um, um, ripples at this scale and that they're all in this context unidirectional. If you are to go go to a river and take a look at this standing over this you know this this section and looking at how things flow you'll observe some uh, crescent shaped or concave uh, um, um, features concave towards the direction of flow uh, convex uh, in the direction or the source of the of the river uh, of the current flow which in this case will be this one so this is concave and over here it will be convex so this is coming in this direction and you have erosion in this direction in this section and then deposition uh, in this other section which which again speaks to what i did say about the stoss side and the lee side uh, for this um, for this uh, river system or fluvial system okay Okay, I think that's it for a video for today. Um, I do hope that you, you know, got some message out of it. Uh, please uh, do send us an email if you do have um, comments or questions. And uh, you can also subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you very much for your time.